everybody, this is Nathan and I'm here with Dave. Hello. Dave, this is Far Cry 4. I know. And I've played it more. I know. Yeah, I mean, I know we've all played it at this stage. This oh. is um, five reasons that I really love the uh, PvP, the multiplayer. Yeah, I'm excited it's to a, hear about this, It's a name. catchy title. Um, so what you're watching now is me riding an elephant. Of course, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's two teams. Uh, I think we were playing 6v6. And my first thing is the game type. So I just kind of wanted to explain an overview of what the heck is going on. Yeah. Riding an elephant, the arrow is on fire. Basically, we play three different modes. This is the first one. It's basically just to capture the flag mode. Okay. There are asymmetrical teams. That's the, that's the okay. thing. So you have like two teams with slightly different skill sets. We're going to see three different games um, laid out in this capture. And we kind of jump between them. Oh my God, there's a bear. There is a bear. So I'm capturing a flag at this point, And I am the Rakshasa. Right. It looks like the hunters from the from the main game. Okay. I don't know. They're very they're kind of spiritual. They turn invisible, which they're is like something. Paint guys. Other yeah, they're paint guys who can go invisible. Look, yeah. I've won there. That Excellent. was me. That was me winning. Um, this second mode, you have to fetch. It's basically like uh, I'm trying to think of a like a Call of Duty equivalent. You grab things which spawn in the wild and you take them back to a particular place. Right. Okay. So I can't remember what that's called. It might in Call be bombed. Bombing. Bomb take. Town bomb take. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called. Um, so that was me wingsuiting down, grabbing it, and then and then running back. And again, I'm the Rakshasa. The other ones are the Golden Path. So the Rakshasa, can, they're uh, very nimble, and uh, they they use arrows. Their arrows are very powerful. We're going to have more on that in just a second. Um, and the Golden Path, they can you can uh, level up loadouts, which have got more traditional kind of guns and ammo. Okay. This is the last mode we played. This is just planting a bomb. Okay. Watching it go off. So there are three points defending and attacking here I am planting a bomb I am the golden path here that's why I've got a big machine gun um, uh, an AK-47 someone's going to come and try and sort it out no no you're not denied allowed to. Um, one thing I also want to mention is uh, so you would swap between rounds you tend to swap between golden path and Rakshasa okay. and that kind of gives everybody a chance you know like so in the mask grabbing mode for instance uh, you just get met like the Rakshasa were messing us up, but then right. you get your chance to do that. Okay. Just been one shot killed by an arrow. This brings me on to point number two, Dave. The Rakshasa's arrows are brilliant in multiplayer. Right. It's so much fun. Um, check this guy out. I'm shooting him with a pistol. Uh, no, this was. Oh, I got killed. I got killed by his mate. But this is what I wanted to show. Just that guy. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Oh, he's had it bad. Right through his face. Oh, yeah, they just they just kept shooting him. Um, yeah, you could you basically. The what I guess the, what the, me talking about arrows is a way of saying is that the asymmetrical skill sets really do work because you kind of go I don't want to be like invisible barefoot guy yeah <laughs> that sounds rubbish yeah but the one hit kill arrows really are yeah. and check out this shot yeah oh, I nice. mean I mean he's gone now he's dead yeah here's a good point to ask me any questions Dave well I was wanted to ask you first of all like are they is it are they like classes? Are you all the same guy? Like you, they're, you they're obviously change, there's two different teams. You can change but. your loadout. Okay. Um, basically, but the classes are basically Rakshas, Rak Shasta, and, yeah. go and Golden Path. But, but do, the, do the Rakshasa have different uh, loadouts? Or is, they always just have bow and arrow. Uh, they they do, and it's to do with animals, Dave. Weaponized oh, okay. animals. This is point number three. Here we go with animals. Whoa, that was me killing. Why are you always killing elephants? I don't know. Videos. There's more of it in this as well. Oh, so God. basically, well, I mean, this is well. The elephants aren't part of the Rakshasas. Oh, <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> that is unnecessary. Oh God! I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So the elephants aren't part of the Rakshasas armory. Look, this is me. Check out how I killed this one. Jumped that. out of my jeep and it went into his face. I mean, that is sit, cool. Oh, sit down. No, I got my just for I got stabbed in right through the back. Yeah. Um. So sorry, I've lost my train of thought. You were talking about weaponized animals. Oh, oh yeah. And look, I tried to do it again. It didn't work this time. <laughs> so this, for the next <laughs> few seconds, you're going to see me backing up and trying to kill this elephant. You've made a very angry elephant. <laughs> uh, we're going to see a tiny bit of capture of it in a second. So the Rakshasa, they have, instead of kind of explosives or RPGs or anything like that, yeah. um, they have, look, here it is on the, on the wheel. You level up as, as, the, as you kill more people. You get uh, eagle, bear, right. and, and tiger, and you throw a pouch, and it kind of summons that animal. Okay. I've just summoned a tiger. And then I went to help this guy. It's not a great shot of it, and I apologise for that. Then I get killed. But guess who's got my back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the tiger I just spawned. He actually gets blown up as well. But that's fine. He sacrificed himself for a good cause. And I take it you get points for their kills, too, the animals. You totally do, yeah. And so this is me getting killed by a tiger. Ah, nasty. Yeah, horrible. So um, so in terms of, like, classes, yeah, you, I mean, 
I don't know how you could uh, you, you get different arrow types. I'm really sorry about this bit. Uh, oh, you get different God. arrow types as the Rakshasa, and obviously those animals level up as you go through, but I don't think you've got quite the same kind of loadout. I thought he might be able to jump. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what, like Dumbo? <laughs> <laughs> right by another one. Well, the good news like, is... Like, I'm getting out of here. The good news is I was able to just to jump straight on this one. And carrying on my way. And this guy was hardy. Check this out. I mean, I rode this guy to... Oh, I'm playing the mode here where I want to where I want to defuse that bomb. He's fine. <laughs> he is fine. He's um, furious. So I take it like the elephants, for instance, still like throw <laughs> throw enemies and stuff like in, in multiplayer as yeah. they do in the single player. They're very powerful, but they're kind of neutral agents. They're not like the bears, the tigers, and the eagles. How big are the maps? Are they, you know, they can They are sizable. We're going to get onto that when we talk about the wingsuits. Okay. Um, here, I am going to talk, I'm going to go from animals. Someone has, oh has weaponized a bear against me. We're going to talk about the RPG. Oh. Dave, which is my point number whatever we're on now. Yeah. Well, I think it's number three. What I like about this clip is once I've killed the bear, the two people you're about to see me kill are uh, Andy and Mike from outside Xbox and <laughs> on the other side from me. Look at them both looking at you. There they are, and, oh I, and I execute them both <laughs> one by one. Boot. I'm pretty sure that's them. Uh, only from the cries that came from the other side of the table, they were both annoyed at that point. So I'm um, hoping it's them. This is my favourite RPG, RPG shot that I did all day uh, the RPG is obviously oh, like if, if one one side's got animals you've got to back up with some ex explosives that's what I've got oh that's a good shot thanks mate fair. right up the elephant's bottom um, there are dangers of using RPGs though Dave this yeah. is uh, this is a cautionary tale so oh uh, come on that's what we Little should all be right in front of you yeah there was point to enemy we are now onto wingsuits this is my first go at the wingsuit uh, ben from Ubisoft was telling me what to do. Didn't tell me quick enough. Just a short ride. <laughs> a very short down. ride. But you're right, the uh, the levels are very big, so wingsuits are dead handy. Um, and, like, you can kind of get a sense of the size of the maps. And the thing is, like, you want to drive... You know, it's nice because you can drive vehicles around. There are tuk-tuks, buggies, uh, like... 4 by 4s um, but doing this, like the, they tend to be the starting areas, are, the spawn areas are slightly higher up, and obviously the wingsuit cool. is designed to get you back into the action nice and quickly. There's a bit of skill involved in it as well, which I like. Cool. And you don't feel like you're trudging in from miles and miles away because yeah. you are going to die quite a lot, especially with the arrows being. Oh, team wingsuit. Are. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know, and like the view is is amazing, and also because you can see there, like I'm, I'm aim aiming for that mask. At some points, one of the enemies will kind of come in while you're in the air. And grab the mask and start running away, and then like you're tracking him with your remaining kind of descent time, That's and that cool. the, yeah, that is very cool. Um, I wanted to say as well about these bell towers. We're going to see one at the end, but basically, if you're Rakshasa, if you disable the bell tower, then they can't track you on the um, they can't track you on the radar. So you become so then your invisibility is like very very powerful. Uh, this is just a bit of the third map just showing how you can kind of jump into one of the different objectives. We spent most of the time in this video in objective B on the bridge so that's just this is the central one A. We're going to end on A something funny happens at A a bit later on. Um, and I think the next, the, the final little clip of wingsuiting that we've got, I love wingsuiting is just to show how powerful it is if you, if you can get it right on a hill you can just jump and then you're away, like which I really, you don't have to be like on a cliff. And I was like, I might go for 10 meters. I went for flipping ages. This like cool through a forest. Yeah, and it like, that gives you such an advantage. Using the landscape like that, all you have to do is kind of jump in the air and suddenly you're wingsuiting. Don't know how realistic it is, Dave. Yeah. But it was very we'll good. Don't worry about that. Um, so this, I think, that, I think wingsuits might have been point five. Actually, okay. so the size of the levels and wingsuits. This is my last bit of wingsuiting. I just wanted to show you hijacking uh, the signal of a bell tower. So now, I am um, invisible, uh, and I'm gonna like so you can wingsuit as a golden path as well. Because obviously I'm a golden path here because I've got a gun. Yeah, I'm coming down to point A, um, and it's a nice illustration of what you can do. That it's all kicking off at A. It's the only it's the only one we had left. There's a bear on the roof. Off. There is a bear on. I didn't even see the bear on the roof. But <laughs> if you throw the pouch onto the roof, the bear spawns. <laughs> He'll get there on the roof. Uh, he's called Roof Bear. Uh, yeah. Roof bear. So there, I got done by an eagle, eagle, and then I was like, "Oh, the eagle's gone! Thank God, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to get in there." No, and we're going to end the video, Dave, just on roof bear, <laughs> <laughs> menacing roof bear. Oh, these are the kind of things that we're going to hear over the internet. I've been done by an eagle. I've been done by an eagle oh, and a bear on the roof. The return of roof bear. So yeah, there we go. Five things that I really did enjoy about uh, PvP for Far Cry Four on PS4, which you can get next week, Dave. Is that next week? I will be getting it next week. Thank you very much.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, stay tuned to the channel for lots more. Like this video if you liked it, because that's only polite. And tell us what you thought about Far Cry 4 in the comments.